Hello guys, good afternoon. This is Jerry again, and today I'm uh, I'm about to show you how uh, how our work going on in a moment. Uh, what work, what kind of work I have? It is uh, heat treatment, and in this moment we are uh, heating a uh, concrete refractory refractory. So, so we are drying it out. So this is uh, this is the machines we have. See that there, the recorder. The recorder also. We're using uh, two machines on this side. I'm using uh, two machines on that side. As you can see, the two red boxes, the metal boxes. And this one here is a, uh, a monitoring uh, uh, screen, so we can see it in our uh, computer from the office. So in a moment, we'll have this uh, Recorder on 487, 85, 85, 86 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, we're going to uh, ramp it up until 500 degrees and gonna hold uh, 10 hours soak to dry it out. It's a uh, 65 kVA transformer we have there and four pieces, and it's a. Uh, 48 volts equipment because uh, we are not allowed to use uh, more than 50 volts inside the boilers uh, that is the regulations here in Sweden and here inside we are heating as you can see the cables there there is a in the bottom of that uh, underneath that insulation there the silver thing is where the refractory located so we build a uh, furnace in inside it so we can uh, heat it and there is a four of them we're heating there you go and it's all the same it's just uh, ah. it's getting worse just 10 degrees left or 13 degrees left and this is the third and fourth set So far, we're having really good uh, temperature on it, and uh, we haven't got any struggling yet. So, job is really doing good, and I hope, I really hope it's gonna hold uh, until we're we're done with the job. This is the programmer we're using. It's one of a legend programmer. I love this one. Why is it so blurred? Yeah, there you go. A really good machine, programmer. It's a good combination. There you go. This is, we can call this one as uh, automatic machines now because uh, before we're calling it semi-automatic because uh, the machines before they don't have this programmer so it's just the it's a manual programmers on it it's a different kinds of machines it's a many many companies are uh, producing machines heat treatment machines and they are making uh, different kinds of machines and this one is made from uh, thermal systems it's quite good machines and uh, when we bought it we don't have yet these uh, comp uh, components this is the amp meter as you can see it's uh, moving uh, to measure the amps of the cables I mean the heaters so here you can see how many heaters you are using uh, for example this is 150 means that is uh, three heaters channel and uh, if you 
maybe sometimes your uh, you drop uh, until uh, 500 uh, 100 means you uh, you have one uh, broken heater inside so it's very good to have uh, these amp meters so all of the, our machine in uh, the company we are uh, we applied uh, amp meters so it's very easy for us uh, to see to check uh, what's going on with the heaters how's the heaters going so because before we have uh, we have uh, manually measuring you, mean, you know what if you know what I mean we have this uh, amp meter tongue maybe I have in the box oh, unfortunately I don't have so I can show you there is a another big box on the other side Is it? Oh, here you go. Yeah. Before, uh, this is uh, what we are using uh, to measure the amps on the cables. So it's kind uh, yeah, it's gonna. Uh, this is easy also, but uh, we came up with the idea that we can uh, apply instead, put it uh, built in, so we can see it already when we're starting the machine no need to bother to carry this one out while you are working so it's just start the machines and see then you go then uh, yeah you will see it directly if the machines or uh, heaters are doing good so we're getting close this one is a uh, very slow ramping we have only uh, 10 degrees up from the ambient so it's been it's been really good uh, ramping up, no struggles, which is we always uh, don't want. <laughs> we don't we don't like struggling. So it's, there is a tips also. There's a technique to avoid the struggling. Uh, you have to know what you are doing and uh, secure the wrap or the thing you are heating from falling or from burning any heaters all of the all of those stuff so if you have a good experience on this job then you will always uh, you can always uh, avoid those uh, things you know from burnings all those stuff it's quite special job this one uh, I like this job but sometimes it's very you know very hard to access so filthy uh, yes but this one ever since uh, I started uh, since 2007 so I'm still here uh, today is uh, 2020 now so it's been uh, 13 years uh, 13 and a half years really I, <laughs> I've been working on this job so <laughs> it's why it was uh, quite long time now I don't know, I don't know really yet, uh, because in my mind it's going crazy about changing the job, but uh, I, I don't, uh, I didn't go any schools or uh, I didn't finish any course, so it's very hard for me to find some job, but for this one, heat treatment is uh, quite uh, good for me, uh, this won't need any uh, much uh, uh, courses. No, just we have some courses, but locally courses only, so we can we can uh, work uh, safe safely in the places, so, uh, inductions, uh, inductions, safety inductions, they call it. So, 13 years on this work is uh, quite long time, you know. There is a <laughs> other job which is uh, much better, and this job is uh, heat treatment is uh, not for the family job, you know. You're always away traveling around and uh, you cannot plan much uh, for yourself, you know, because uh, when the client's calling the company and sending you, sending you to the job quite uh, very, uh, very not planned, you know, and then your uh, weeks, months are fucked. You cannot uh, do any 
any quality times with your family so I don't know I might uh, stay uh, not so long time <laughs> to, to this job because uh, I really want to do a lot of things with my family now I'm quite uh, you know tired no, I'm not tired of this job it's just the the, the job itself is uh, taking too much time from my family because uh, before yeah when I started on this job it was okay because I don't have any family yet but now uh, I have three children and yeah uh, so I really need I really like to spend uh, much more time with them before they grow up they are uh, just uh, two, two years old six years old and soon 12 years old so three of them so let's see what's gonna happen in the future but anyway guys this is heat treatment and heat treatment is not for uh, family and especially not for you but this uh, job can give you when you are a teenager or just finish your school just for extra this uh, job is also quite good for uh, you know, having extra money you know but if you have a chance to do some other job please do it not this this kind of job because heat, heat treatment sucks <laughs> It's taking too much time of your life no no fun and no much uh, things you can do when you are doing heat treatments you know luckily i'm in sweden so there is uh, some uh, better rules uh, how the government uh, want to implement to the people you know so you can have a vacation 25 days fully paid and uh, yeah and also uh, they have this uh, eight hours uh, policy every day and uh, yeah you can also choose to work weekends night shifts all those stuff because this job is very hard to plan I, I think I can still I can smell burning <laughs> But it is not our job, you know. Uh, that is not so good, yeah. That is not so good, but it's good. It's good. Still doing good. Job. Job is still doing good. Alright, guys. Uh, I don't know much more uh, what to say to you. It's just this. Job what I'm doing. Bye-bye.